So did we do it today? And was I the first one in the door? Yes, and yes, we went to Palmetto Bake Shop. The only item out of these items that I've already had before is this cinnamon bun, the iced cinnamon bun. I'm gonna tell you, we're gonna make a mess today. Uh, that's just a given. This is a Danish with blueberry and goat cheese, and I think she said honey. Pretty excited about that. We got a cream horn, which a lot of people are big fans of these, and it'll be the first one I've had from there. And a pumpkin croissant because, you know, it's that time of the year. And then a sausage and cheddar croissant, which I've already eaten part of. And then we got a house blend coffee from Essie Real Foods. Just black, hot and fresh. Doesn't need anything else. And let's go into this croissant that I did already start eating. And I apologize. So you can see the sausage in there. I came very close to getting the ham and Swiss. I had all kind of really good looking melted Swiss cheese. And I was like, I don't want to buy up everything. Leave some for somebody else. So I did it. Maybe I should have. So for those of you that don't know, Palmetto Bake Shop is right there at Five Points. They've been there for about two years, I think. About two years they've been around. And I've just been super pleased with them every time that I've been. We're going to make a mess today. No doubt about that, but we got a vacuum, so we'll be all right. I would have to say that this is dang near perfect. The thing is, the croissant. Light, airy, buttery, the richness of that croissant flavor Man, very light and airy. And they are really crispy. So yeah, you're just gonna make a mess. All right, now I was really excited about this one. This is, again, that croissant dough. This is a Danish with um, blueberry, goat cheese, and like I said, I think she said honey. I mean, what can you say? The blueberry flavor is pronounced. It actually brings a tart more so than the sweet. Same thing with the croissant though. Um, that's a staple for all of these. So you got that as a foundation, but then the goat cheese, hold on. Yeah. I'm a big cream cheese guy, but the goat cheese actually brings a little bit more of a punch. If I didn't tell you that it wasn't cream cheese, you probably wouldn't notice. What you would probably say is, wow, that's really good cream cheese because it's, it's very flavor packed. But if you know goat cheese, you could pick up on it on the back end. Yeah, it works really well. So Palmetto Bake Shop is just a small little shop right there at Five Points. And like I said, they do a really good job. They run from... Thursday to Saturday from 10 to 2 or until sold out, I believe is how that works. And I'm guessing that they probably always sell out, I would imagine. Yes. Mm-hmm. See, this is the thing that I've liked about them from day one. These are my kind of sweets. So I like pastries. I like sweets. And I'll eat stuff that's obnoxiously sweet. But really, this is what I prefer. And what I love about what they do over there is these items aren't packed with sugar. I mean, even this, from any that I can recall, is less sweet than like if you went to Cinnabon, you know. But the cream in this is more like milky. I don't mean in texture, I mean in flavor. It's more like a sweet milk. It's it's just subtle. It's not overpoweringly sweet. I'll pause on those or I'm gonna not make it all the way through all this. Let's try to attack this this way. Yeah. All right, so pumpkin croissant. You know, you've got a lot of people. I saw Ed Piotrowski do this the other day. I was very disappointed. 
it's become popular for people to come out this time of year pumpkin shaming. And so Ebb is like, apple is a better fall flavor than pumpkin or whatever. And first of all, my thing is, you know, if we're talking about apple pie, apple pie is an American staple. You eat that all year round. All right. Apple cider. Yes. Apple cider is excellent at Christmas time in the winter. I would agree. But what I don't understand is why does it always have to be one or the other? All this pumpkin shaming is nonsense. From mid-September to November, we're doing pumpkin. We're not going to apologize about it. And quite frankly, it's the right thing to do. Okay, so the topping on this croissant is kind of like coffee cake. You know the crumbles on coffee cake? Mm Mm-hmm. That's that. And then the filling is a pumpkin pie type filling. But it's done really well. See, that's the thing. You can tell it's not like they went to the store and bought some canned pumpkin pie filling and squirted it in the croissant. No, no. That's homemade. Got to be. Palmetto Bake Shop, if you watch this, is the filling homemade? I'm banking yes. Yeah. That's excellent. If you do the whole pumpkin thing, obviously I do. Go pick one of those up. I don't know how long they're going to do them, but I don't think you're going to be disappointed with that. Is it hard to eat? Yeah. It is. Is it messy? Absolutely. Don't eat it in your car. Or if you do, just be prepared to go vacuum it. So again, the cinnamon roll. So obviously this is not croissant dough. This is excellent. It has everything you expect from a cinnamon bun, but it's not overly sweet. Like if I ate a cinnamon cinnamon bun of the same size, will I enjoy it if it's fresh, which is a big if, but if it's fresh, yeah, I'm going to enjoy it. But pretty much immediately after it's done, I might not even make it to the end before I'm going to feel like I'm going to die. I don't, I don't get that with this. I mean, I could eat this whole thing. Now, granted, I got all this other stuff, so that would be, it would eventually start to add up on the sugar toll, but what I'm saying is just in a vacuum by itself, really good. Now, since I've already had those, I'm going to go back to finish one of these, and I think I'm going to go with this one. So I paid $22 for all of this. The breakfast croissant, they had like a tomato pesto danish i think that uh from what i experienced today and then this was to be expected i figured that was going to be the case the breakfast pastries that aren't sweet so like the sausage and cheddar that we have that's a really good breakfast option now they open at 10 so if for whatever reason some of y'all are looking to pick up a late breakfast that something you might want to check out and not really that expensive either i feel like a sausage egg and cheese croissant from like burger king I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had one of those. Probably probably five bucks, right? Something like that. That was $4.50. So I already knew this was going to be excellent. I know a lot of y'all are fans of Palmetto Bake Shop out there. For those of you that have not been, you probably should consider going. And what I'll say is I'm so glad that these business owners in the culinary field have been encouraged, been um, motivated to open these various restaurants that we have over the last few years that have been popping up across town. And this is a gym. I mean, it would qualify as a gym. It's in an inconspicuous location. Um, I don't know that the advertising push at the time was super heavy. I I mean, I guess they got a pretty good presence on Facebook. I heard about them through word of mouth when they first opened. I put it that way. But you know what? They are clearly very intentional about their product and they're putting out a good product. And it's not the kind of, how do I say this the right way? Uh, typical product that we've come to know in Florence. Okay. So, I mean, we've got this handmade croissant with the blueberry, goat cheese, and honey. I mean, this, it's um, not your typical item. It's not saturated with sugar to carry it. It's carried based on quality of execution and quality of ingredients, which are two of the major four things that we talk about on this channel. And when you combine that with the fact that they've been ultra consistent, I mean, the product is remarkably consistent every time that I've been. And the fact that the staff members in there are very friendly, very accommodating, just simple stuff. You know, like I was sitting out 
side of the door. I was about five minutes early. I was actually about 10 minutes early and I was sitting there on the phone when they were opening up the blinds and unlocking the door. You know, she saw me out the window and she just waved me in to come on in. Some places you go to and you can read their eyes and you know they're thinking, oh my gosh, this jerk's here early. You're not getting in here until right on the dot. <laughs> like, you know, you know that's going on. This is the total opposite. So, I mean, they really check all four of those categories. And for all those reasons, I appreciate what they're doing over there. So Palmetto Bake Shop, shout out to you. You are a winner. Well, look, we'll keep this short and sweet. No pun intended. They've got a variety of items over there. They're constantly creating and coming up with new things. Those breakfast items, don't sleep on those. Don't think Bake Shop and just think about the cinnamon buns and the flavored croissants and that kind of thing. That sausage and cheddar will not be the last time that I get one of those. That was excellent. But yeah, if you haven't been over there, check them out. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. We do have some exciting stuff coming up with some slight format changes. No changes to what we've been doing, but some things uh, to add in addition to what we've been doing that I really think y'all are really going to enjoy. So make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and you stay tuned for that upcoming future content. And in the meantime, I look forward to seeing y'all around. Maybe I'll bump into you at the Palmetto Bake Shop. But until then, y'all take care and God willing, we'll see you on the next video.